Hey, welcome to North Pacific Renaissance. Well, you guys have been parking your white Ford Mustang in front of lava flows for insurance fraud. I've been trying to make my Glock 17 as tactical as possible with this Firefield pistol bayonet. All right, well, there are levels of being tactical. And while a laser is pretty good, it is not up to our standards. So I'm going to have to take that thing off and make space on the rail for the pistol bayonet. So let's get that process started. All right, magazine well is empty. And the pistol is clear. Next, bring our Allen wrench into play. Well, rather than have you watch me struggle with the Allen wrench, I've uh, discreetly loosened it while you weren't paying attention. And we're just going to give that little knurl down to twist. And off she goes. And away. All right, now for the big unveiling. So I've got the bayonet here. It comes in this uh, nylon sheath. I think it was about, I think if you got it from the manufacturer, nine bucks. I got it off eBay for... 20 and as far as I know they don't even make them anymore and it's got a steel blade and then the interesting part is in the back of the handle it's got this spring-loaded release and you depress that and you can pull the back off and expose that all right I think you guys know what's coming next right all right it's time to get tactical so we've got our firefly pistol bayonet and the Glock, and you can see the rail there. Just slide that thing over. I'll try not to send myself to the hospital here. And the Glock is not the best rail for this, I'll be honest. And this thing, you know, it's not like super well made. Let's be honest with ourselves, it's a novelty. So you can pull it back further on the rail, but it's not going to click into place. So you have to press it ahead just a touch, and you can hear it click into that one rail section. So. Oh wow, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's, lasers are fine, but uh, this is tactical, right? Whew, man, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's get these guys out of the way. <laughs> so, uh, I guess the benefit of this would be, you got me not having somebody come at you while you're reloading. Uh, you could probably use it to cut yourself, that makes sense. Oh, hang on, wait for it. Yeah, I think we knew we were going to see that. All right, one second before I make a mess. All right, let's get you, beautiful thing, back in the frame here. And uh, again, I took a little break here and... Oh, well, you can see that. We've got our uh, three-shot group there. And the range was, uh, you know, at, at the muzzle. And I would say, surprisingly, this has been the most accurate weapon I've had. The group is uh, less than an inch, right? That's pretty good. So there you go. One uh, now gun oil flavored apple. One uh, highly tactical pistol bayonet. That's my tape measure there. And uh, I'm sure to be the envy of friends and the scorn of my wife. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.